Welcome to episode 9 of the one podcast to eventually rule them all. This is a podcast about a group of friends getting together, giving their opinions, and talking about video games, the world of professional wrestling, card games, and anything else that might tickle our fancy. Introducing first, <laughs> Mr. Chorizo himself, <laughs> the gingerbeard man gamer, Shadow Cody. Wait, why am I Mr. Whatever? Uh, yep, gingerbeard man gamer on Twitch, and that, that's all we're just going to go with for now. Uh, and this podcast and Friendly's D and D thingy, the biggest Twitch superstar going on today. He is the friendliest, Jake. Hi, my name is Jacob Andor Friendly. You can find me on Twitch.tv forward slash Friendly Plays X. You can find me on YouTube.com forward slash Friendly Plays. You can find me at Twitch.tv or Twitter.com forward slash Friendly. And you can follow my best friend, best friends, Cody and Snow as well. Do that first. Go follow, go follow Jake on his Twitch and get him to 500 followers by the end of the year. Yeah, I need we'll to come see that. to your house. If you don't have dogs, then we won't show up. If you don't have dogs, we'll pet you instead. We'll rip your stuffing out of your teddy bears. <laughs> I mean, really, it's a win-win. And to my right, my right-hand man himself, the Indiana gentleman himself, Devin Bliss. Hello, baby boys and girls. I'm Devin, and they call me Ass Pack because I pack a lot of ass. True. Back in high school, that was his nickname. I could see it. Was that on the back of his football jersey? Yep. And on his letterman. <laughs> Perfect. Ass Pack Devin. Call me and Ass Pack because I pack a lot of ass. And next, a man who will be shortly joining us after his slumber. It is Caleb. That man is dead. And, of course, I am... A person who dropped a whole case of cream cheese on my finger, the bee snow. <clears throat> <laughs> That's one of those things that you hear and you're like, I mean, that can't hurt that bad, but you know damn well that hurts like a motherfucker. I think you gotta realize how big those cream cheese boxes are. 36 bars uh-huh. in a case, all right? Ooh. Eight ounce each. But before we get into this episode, if you're listening to us right now on Spotify and you haven't done so yet, go ahead and hit the follow button. We love and appreciate every single one of you that's checked us out so far. Yeah, buddy. Also, Follow us on Spotify. I'll send you a link to Suicide Girls. <laughs> also, follow the podcast's new Twitter, at TopTurta, which is at T-O-P-T-E-R-T-A, for everything and anything related to Top Turta. Leave us feedback, news, boys. questions you might have for us, or topics you want us to discuss. And you know what? While you're at it, just go follow or subscribe to all of our social medias. I, really I do want to talk about that for a second because yeah. I am actually surprised that Top Turta <laughs> was available. Like, I know that it's a, kind of a weird acronym, but it's fucking Twitter. People will take names just to take names. I have a World of Warcraft character named Ketchup. Okay. You also all have right. Raw Big Potato. I do have raw baked potato. Yes, I do. We'll be talking about some video game conspiracy theories, game franchise we wish never existed, and we'll be discussing if video games have too much to do in them. And please welcome Caleb after his slumber. I slept through my alarm. Welcome. Hello. We already we already uh, we already, we already played you out, so you're good. Anyways, do you know uh, Top Turda? You add the uh at the end of <laughs> it rhymes with top turta, Cody. Yeah, no, I get it. I appreciate it. No, he doesn't. He Go doesn't eat a chorizo. It. All right, would you rather have pizza rolls or pizza bagels? Bagel. Pizza bagels are they cooked all the way through and not gonna burn my <laughs> mouth when I take a bite? What was the question? I, I or would does say, it have the molten lava in the middle before? I, I would imagine they would be the perfect. Heat and consistency for both. The perfect right, pizza rolls. Yes. I need the question repeated. Pizza rolls or pizza bagels? Hey, you ever pizza rolls? Yeah, pizza rolls. Ah, nah, it's always a bagel. You pizza can have rolls. that shit anytime. Pizza bagel. Pizza bagel. Yeah. In the oven. Pizza rolls. You can literally have it anytime. I ain't never had a good pizza bagel. I've had some decent pizza rolls. I mean, well, bagel ain't been at my house. The. I have not. No, you've never invited me. The, the uh, bread on the the bread on the bagel bites just not it for me. Yeah, it's it's well, chewy. I, you know, I I like it. It, it tastes pizza. like a frozen pizza bagel, I guess. But like, is all right. 
And the next one. Do you have a favorite t-shirt? And if so, what's on it or what does it say? Uh, yeah, it has a picture of my good friend B Snow on it. Oh God! <laughs> you took my you took what I was gonna say because I was gonna say my picture of my good friend Devin Bliss on it. God. Go ahead and say it. A We're picture of my good friend Devin Bliss. Bliss. That's such a good shirt. Thank I you. have two of those. I have two B Snow shirts. One says always, and one says B Snow. Or... <laughs> maker, I can't even remember. I gotta look. I'm too fat I, to wear it. So I have Snow's always shirt. Oh, I'm too fat to wear yours too. <laughs> I have Snow's always shirt also. Uh, mine. Shirt. I have a a black shirt that has like the versions of the Super Saiyans and the colors that they are in text. Does that have to be a T-shirt? Well, what the fuck? Else? <laughs> No, <laughs> there's fucking tank tops and goddamn long sleeve shirts, Devin. Counts as a t-shirt. t-shirt. Shirt. Cody, come on. What? Or fucking what's your name, Caleb? <laughs> Look, you pissed me off. Cody's been pissing me off all day. Now you <laughs> did it, so I called you Cody. My bad. Teresa was a message. Um, I have a blank black tank top that has the Akatsuki clouds on it. It's probably my favorite shirt. A good one. Or my Marty scroll. Bullet Club shirt. I do like. I do like a good Bullet Club shirt, though. I got the American Nightmare uh, Bullet Club shirt. That's pretty cool. I got I a cool like Young Buck shirt. Vigilante Club. I got that. Oh, one. that's a Rest cool one. Zero. You want to know my re- my real favorite? That Alpha is? Club Chris Jericho shirt. No, I do like that one. But the reason I like this shirt is because it takes me back to a simpler time, a better weekend than I've had in a long time. It says, and I quote. A taste of Mexico. <laughs> it is green. You still have it? Of course. I used to wear that shirt all the time at Kroger. I, I know. We, shirt we traded time. shirts, Snow, because they gave you like an extra large and Devin gave me a medium. <laughs> I, st- I, I stopped wearing the polos and just started wearing fucking taste of Mexico shirts. <laughs> that was a good ass weekend, wasn't it? Went to Caleb's house. I spent weekend. all my money on Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You guys got pulled, over. We we got, got pulled over. We got pulled over. Sure. Got pulled over. Chango got strip searched while the cop was like, oh, what's in this is. bag? What are these masks? <laughs> Who for? got strip searched? You. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are you were like, I love Ohio State. <laughs> I got pulled over because Devin's insurance was expired or some shit like that. No, like, I didn't use I didn't use the turn signal. Because <laughs> Devin didn't use a turn signal. I got pulled over. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> right outside of your fucking house, too. Like right outside. Devin's like, I'm five seconds away. And then Half an, an hour, hour later. <laughs> an hour later, you guys are like, hey, we're here. We got pulled over. So speaking of turn signals, <clears throat> let's turn this uh, episode <laughs> over to Jake, who has some hot takes on some franchises we it's, wish never existed. It's really just one. And it's going to be biased because I didn't play it when I was younger growing up, right? And I don't see the appeal to it now. The newest game's kind of, it's cool. Oh, by and large, I think it's very like boring and overrated, and it's Mario. Really? I don't really fucks with Mario at all, dude. It's boring as fuck. I can understand <laughs> why it was fun like fifty years ago, but I don't understand why the fuck it's still around. Like it doesn't make sense to me. I'm not upset about it. I thought I would be upset about it, but I'm not upset about right? it. Right? I really expected it to hurt my feelings, but honestly, I don't care. Yeah, Mario is just, for me. It's it's not it. It uh, it's definitely not as fun as it used to be. Now, like the the one I had the most fun with last was Super Mario 3D World, but that's because I was playing with Genie, and in that version, you can pick each other up and throw each other off the map. And that was right. 85 percent of our gameplay is trying to throw each other off the map. Uh, is that the one for the Wii? Uh, you? the Wii U. Yeah, yeah, where you were like cats and stuff. Yep. Yeah. See, I tried to play that one. Got super bored. I actually tried to play Mario Odyssey. And I I couldn't get into that one either. I got, I think, the third world in. I was like, this game's so easy and boring. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I understand that, like, for the time it was revolutionary. But going forward, when there were better, like, versions of that kind of game out, you know what I mean? I don't understand right. why it kept its notoriety. The so way are you saying just, like, the, the, like the, the platform or whatever, Mario? Or are you saying, like all the games of Mario. I wish Mario wouldn't have spawned spawned into such a 
giant powerhouse that it is. Where they had to be the one like every year. Right, because to me, it's just unnecessary and not good. What about like Mario Golf and Mario Tennis? That was... You can play Crash Golf and Crash Tennis and you're yeah. fine. Mario yeah. Party, though. Oh. Mario I was Party. getting ready to say, does that also <laughs> include like Mario Party and Mario oh, Kart? Yeah. And oh, yeah. So you just wish Goodbye. Mario as a franchise never existed. Yeah, I wish it wasn't there. I, oh. I, don't, I don't care for it. <laughs> okay. I'm, okay, I came back at a good time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. That, that's, that's my hot take for the week, Devin. I don't like Mario. I wish it never would have been invented. But really, Mario? Yep, I mean, it's Mario. you know what? I don't give a shit. I'm with it. <laughs> <Who cares? laughs> yeah. no, I don't fucking thought about it. And then we're like, eh, well, okay. Yeah. Like, the only yeah. Mario game I really liked was uh, Mario Tennis and Sunshine. I do love and Sunshine. I, uh, I, Sunshine is probably the best. I fuck with Mario in Smash a little bit, and that's about it. Like, I don't see. I don't care I for. I, I don't like Mario games. They're the, too easy and boring. The old side scrolling platformers, like the first three in Super Mario World, or yeah, those ones I loved. And then, like, if you count Yoshi Story, I loved those games. But, like, the newer 3D ones, I didn't care about too terribly much. Like Odyssey, or shit like that. Sunshine, obviously, is still one of the best GameCube games out there, but. Uh, Super Mario All Stars for the Super Nintendo yeah. was really good. Yeah. But, like, that's there's the other options that you could have played that. You know what I mean? To me, not, just... not that style, though. Like, the closest of just like side scrolling platformers would have probably been Metroid. Sonic, fucking. Well, right. see, I, I, I like well, it, so. but if there was no Mario, I don't know if there would have been a Sonic. You don't think somebody else could have came up with that? I think well, Sonic, I think Sonic would have been there without Mario. Maybe, but I don't know if it would have been the same thing because the whole reason they made Sonic is because they wanted their own version of Mario. And again, well, I didn't. I don't know. You have to think about all the other weird shit Sonic has done. Right. Yeah, that's true. I think that somebody would have made something like Mario, and it would have spawned the exact same bullshit. And I just, I just don't care. Huh. Yeah, Mario uh, Mario does not do it for me. He really doesn't. I get too deep into it. Mario, well, actually, I, I said another Mario game I did like was uh, Super Mario Strikers on the yeah. game. That's my shit. I, I did like that. most of the Mario parties uh, for the GameCube and lower. Everything that came out for Wii and Up was not good. Mario Party is fun. It's not my favorite, but... But you also fun. gotta have a bunch of people. Yes, I'm not playing that shit by myself. No. Speaking of Sonic, that that's a franchise that should have died in the nineties. <laughs> so really? is that your your pick then, Sonic? No, but because I I mean I love Sonic, but them trying to adapt into the future generation, they What's killed. The, good? Yeah, they killed themselves. Like <laughs> the meme that is Sonic Adventure Two and Sonic Boom. No, uh, Sonic, Sonic's had a couple fun fucking games. They have. You know, uh, that's the thing. They haven't, but Sonic look at Riders. the stuff that they've put out is just terrible. A lot of very broken, not fully put together games. The movie was pretty decent. I, yeah, I, I like the movie. movie. I did like the movie. I also like the Shadow game on GameCube. I was just about to say Shadow. <laughs> that was fun. I mean, that game was Shadow the Hedgehog fun. was good. It really was. So we're, that's, Devin, all, that's you, all it. It's Mario. Devin, did you have one? What did everybody else say? No one said Nobody anything, said else, anything else. Yeah. Oh, game series I wish had never been created. Uh, <clears throat> yes, I do. Go ahead. Fucking Minecraft. Oh God. Why? Because <laughs> it's fucking stupid. That's all right. I'm about <laughs> to piss Devin off with mine. God. Oh, hey God. Cody, you've pissed me off all day. I assumed oh, it was coming. I got another like, one, but I'll let Cody go first. Minecraft, Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing much less than Minecraft. Minecraft's probably my biggest. I also fucking hate Call of Duty, so <laughs> uh, you know. I need to ask you why Minecraft like why did why do you hate it so much? What about it do you hate so much? There is nothing about Minecraft that's appealing to me. I think it looks stupid. I like what else is there to do other than like build and fucking there's kill liter- block sheep? There's literally a whole storyline where you have to go kill a fucking big dragon at the end of it, bud. Yeah. It doesn't. It still makes it look stupid. It has an actual like, storyline. It just looks so stupid. So, so graphics are the only thing you care about in the game. 
No, no, that's so not take, the case at all. So take graphics out of it. It's that style. So take the, graphics out of it. What is wrong with that game? I don't like it. That's that's fine. I'm not saying that you have to like it. I don't. I'm asking what about it is so bad that you don't think it should ever be. I think it is foreign. stupid. What about it do you think is stupid, though? The point of it, just, like, what you do in the, what I've seen you do in the game, I do not care for. You've seen me play the game for a total of, like, three hours, what I, maybe. Okay, listen. Brittany's nephew, whom I see all the time, does nothing but play Minecraft. And he does nothing at all except fucking strike the ground with his pickaxe. <laughs> This That's, comes from a lot of that. the same man that doesn't like Animal Crossing. So, yes, I don't like Animal Crossing either. But I would it, much rather have Animal Crossing than Minecraft. I do not care to build shitty-looking things with stupid blocks, and I do not care to mine incessantly in a video game that looks like it does. So you probably hate RuneScape too, then, right? No, I don't hate RuneScape. I've oh, okay. played RuneScape one time, but there's. You've also never it. played Minecraft, so you don't actually I know did. if you hate it or not. I tried to play Minecraft. You tried to play yeah, Minecraft for twenty minutes while I was in a shower. I'm not gonna play Minecraft because it looks like it does. You want to play and Minecraft I've, with me? And I've seen no, I won't. And I've seen uh, Brittany's nephew play Minecraft. What if I play? Mi- what if I play Madden with you? Will you play Minecraft with me? No. You don't play Madden, and you won't keep playing Madden. So no. Oh, speaking. Never mind. I'm not even going to talk. I'm not even going to talk about Madden. That's the game I really wish would have been never been been born. Okay, well that's your opinion. Uh, Fuck Madden, stupid. All you do is look down the field and press a button. (laughs) Okay. I mean, mine starts with an M, but I (laughs) think Devin might yell. Oh God, I think I know what it is. Go ahead, Cody. You're up next. I fucking hate you. Uh. So I'm pretty sure mine's Metal Gear. <laughs> exactly what I thought you were gonna say. Yeah, me too. And why is this Cody? Well, so the the original couple of games were really good. They had a lot of like new mechanics and stuff like that. Hold on, hold, but... on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So original games, do you mean like the Super Nintendo one? No, I didn't play those. So like Metal Gear Solid. Okay. okay. Just making sure. Oh yeah. They they were fun. They had some cool mechanics, and then like it just kind of was the same thing over and over and over. And then what? oh, now we have There's... bees. Oh, now we have this stupid boss that doesn't make sense. Oh, now we're more like an anime than we are an actual video game. You tripping, bro? I'm not though. Right, I, I, really I think they're fine, but bit. I think from what it started from to what it became at the end, just I, I don't think it's worth it. That's that's. I don't. How's it? You not? broke Devin. Oh, I did. Devin.exe stopped. I don't know. I thought he was going to start yelling, but you know. Uh, well, I'm trying to gather my. <laughs> so, how? And, I don't understand how you like. You said the first two. The yeah, Metal uh, Gear Solid. Yeah. Okay. How they stray from the path? None of them stray from that path. Well, that's the what first... I said. They're the same thing over and over and over. No, they're not the same thing over and over again, though. I thought you were talking about, like, the craziness. I mean, the craziness does definitely throw it off. Because but... the games are... I mean, they're definitely different. Yeah, the... but it's kind of along the same lines of Hitman, though. Like, you're still just going, murdering people silently or not, and figuring not really. shit out. And you're really it. not supposed to kill anybody in the games. So well, right. You are given the option to, if you're a sadist, crazy person. Yeah, well... But the point is to tactical espionage action you're supposed to do stealth the whole time yeah but the, the first one like three. the first okay so the first one is what it is it's a ps1 game so right don't i'm not gonna delve too much into it the second one is fucking amazing mm-hmm. and like the third one the, the second eh. one plays completely different than the third one the third one is almost an rpg like yeah completely but the story is still like pretty much the same. Like it's the story know. is not 
the same. It, it kind of is. Like you're, it's still along the same lines. It's still no, because in the second second one, you fight on an oil tanker the whole time until the end of the game, where you fight like the fucking a senator or some shit on the rooftops in Washington. Right, New York. You, the time you sneak around, you kill or not kill people. You try to not get caught, and you do what you're doing. That's how game sequels work. It's right. just a sequel to. That's what? what I'm saying. Like, I don't know if it needed sequels. I think if it was just a standalone game, it would have been perfect. You can say that about any game that has sequels. Not entirely. What do you mean, not entirely? I, we're happy that Final Fantasy has sequels. But that's the same game up until, up until 15. It's yes, not true I'm, at all. No, nah, I think each one has I'm a not, special I'm, flavor. I'm not talking about the offshoots. No, I think even like there's a, a a reason why people are so divided between seven and eight being the best Final Fantasy because they're two very different games. Now, see, that's how I feel about Metal Gear Solid. I don't though. Like every time that I play, I got, I didn't even finish three because it was just, I don't know. That's fucking the best boring. one. What is wrong? Like, I got it's so boring. boring. You have to fucking eat a tree frog to survive. Sure. Yep. You also you have, have to eat, eat the animals. You have to what? You have to kill a man that was, is made of bees. It's not made of bees. What is wrong with you? It's made of bees. Devin's triggered. Or you uses bees you or whatever. You, you don't feel anything when you have to fight Big Boss? I don't know if I made it that far. You you fight your teacher in the field and you have to kill her? Is that towards the end? She's a double agent. Yeah. I think I know about it because I've seen some like completionists and shit like that about it. But That's amazing. I mean, sure, but what about walking through the river? Like, basically, the river sticks when you're fighting the sorrow. And if you've killed anybody in the game, every person you've killed shows up in that river. Literally, every person. Right. I mean, it has. That is so much different than the other games. In the second game, when you're riding, you're literally naked trying to run away. You fight a vampire in the second one. And that doesn't sound weird to you at all? That is weird, and that's the beauty of Metal Gear Solid. It's fucking crazy. I don't know. And then the codec talks. Uh, we motherfucker. This doesn't doesn't do it for me. I could definitely be happy if it never I, existed. Uh, well, yeah, because you just haven't you haven't played them lovingly enough. I think you need to. I mean, you need to pick them all up and play them again. That and sounds like a lot of time that I don't. You want. need no. You need to beat one, two, three, four, and five, and then come back and have this conversation with me. I thought five was bad. Isn't that Phantom Pain or whatever? Five was not bad. I can't what get through wrong? it either. Oh my fucking god! You haven't tried to get through it. Didn't they have a zombie shit yeah. too? Literally tried playing it five times. I got bored of it by the first yeah. one. And you're thinking of Metal Gear Survive, and we're not talking about that because oh, okay. Kojima didn't make that one. Fair. That's and see, and that's what that's kills me. Is I love Kojima. Like I just, I you, I don't know. He's got other franchises. He's pretty known for. Kojima lost me. He's not known for branding. anything. He's not known for anything like he's known for Metal Gear. Like my second favorite Kojima thing is uh, Zone of the Enders, but I wouldn't even remotely compare it to Metal Gear Solid. Mm. Have you played Zone of the Enders? I have not. Uh, you might like it. I don't know. Big mech shit. I was going to say, I think I've seen it. Isn't it kind of like a Gundam style type thing? Yes and no, I wouldn't. Or maybe like, uh, what was it? The Armored Core? I don't know. It's kind of Gundam-y, but not really. I don't know how to explain it. It's it's a Kojima game, so you have I mean, to play it to try and understand it yourself, because I'm not going to be able to explain it. That's fair. And I don't... I definitely don't think it was uh, Kojima's fault at all, because, you know, the story, for the most part, is really good. You're just doing the same thing over and over and over. We're, I, I we're wonder... I'm going to disagree. I wonder if Kojima is going to make another good game. I hope. Uh, I, I don't I think, think Death Stranding can be his last project. No, I don't. I I mean, I still don't get Death Stranding, and I love him, but I just it's fucking get terrible. It. I again, I'm pretty I, sure saw that he was working on new stuff. I mean, he has a whole ass studio. He can't. Yeah, he's probably not done making games. And you know, know, actually, I don't know if I have talked about it on this podcast. I think if they didn't have all the hype built around Death Stranding, it wouldn't be as much of a disappointment. If they didn't say for five years straight, this is going to be the game of the year, the best thing you've ever seen, the follow-up to PT that everybody's been waiting for, 
and well, it's think, walking simulator. I think once he moved on from, you know, PS3 to the PS4 generation, he focused a lot more on his engine and how things look because yeah, the Fox engine is my favorite and like the uh, all the backgrounds and everything. That's what Five's on, right? Yeah. I don't think. I mean, it looks good, but I don't think it's like. I don't know. It's when not head shoulders better than anything else that came out around that time. I think. Well, I don't know. When five I think The Witcher out, Three I looks better than Five. I do well, not at all. No. I think that the newer Metal Gear and stuff like Death Stranding, you're meant to look more at like the background and your surroundings, not so much what's right in front of you. You're supposed to explore and look at everything that you can the, see. He's he is super detailed with his games. Yeah. Like I don't. Everything in all of the Metal Gear game—I don't know about Metal Gear Solid One, can't remember—but from two on, everything you can interact with every object in the game, like they're all interactable. Yeah, which is awesome. So I don't know. We got a little off there. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid. All right, so we got Metal Gear Solid, Sonic, Mario. Take that out. Minecraft. Minecraft, Minecraft sucks. Any anything you else? Suck. You got anything, Snow? I don't have any series that I wish never existed. I just have some that I, I don't want to look at all the time. <laughs> well, come on. Final Fantasy. Oh! oh, no. oh, 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 oh. Well, this Go is on. on Devin's Dreams, the podcast. Oh, no, Final Fantasy is not one of my favorites, but I mean, no. I don't like his, I don't like this choice. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, let's move on. <clears throat> well, oh, you know what? What a good segue. Final Fantasy. Because I got something for you guys. Let's talk oh, about some video game conspiracy theories. <laughs> Final yeah. Fantasy VII. Anybody play that? Mm-hmm. Yep, I have. A couple times. So it had four discs on the PlayStation. Mm-hmm. I have all of them. And let's see. Here, I'll read it. Um, at the end of the first disc, Squall um, face off against uh, whatever, whoever. Wait, 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 hold on. What? That's, that's a different game. That's uh, that's eight. Eight, whatever. I can't read Roman okay. numerals. It's, <laughs> it's too bright. Eight. All right, okay. Squall and his crew face off against whoever on top of a city, right? Mm-hmm. Um, impale... Squall gets impaled or whatever, gets killed. And then the second disc, Squall wakes up with no wounds. The theory is that he that Squall is dead. And it everything that uh he's witnessing is a dream. Okay. Mm. <laughs> so I guess in certain aspects you could I could see that. I, I don't I don't play Final Fantasy, so I don't know. I don't like the dreams, the the dream theory in anything anymore. I, because it seems like yeah. such an easy cop out to like. There's a conspiracy sa- that said that uh, Harry Potter was just dreaming the whole Hogwarts experience. Yeah, because of what happened with uh, how Vernon but, and Petunia treated him. But I'm just like, that's uh, like, what? Why would he dream? Like, that doesn't. Whatever. The the only one that I have liked but also fucked me up was that Ash actually like when he was chasing after the Pikachu tripped and on his bike and went into a coma and dreamed that he was going to be the Pokemon master. Nah, nah. That's the only one that I've liked because that one I could actually see. I'm not with that one either. Yeah, uh, me neither. Why does that take so dumb. why does that take so damn long to become Pokemon master? Yeah, that's exactly what in I'm saying. A coma. Right, but if he's in a coma, dreaming that he's going to become Pokemon Master, why did it take him eight, ge- nine generations to become Pokemon Master? Well, I mean, think about it, though. Like, if you dream, does everything happen, like, super fucking fast, or is it a long, played-out thing? Some people can control that shit, so, you know. I mean, good on them, but... Because, you know, like, dreams feel like forever. I don't know. That's just not what I'm on. Well, speaking of, like, speaking of Pokemon, then... Um, when Pokemon first came out in Japan, if you go into uh, Lavender Town, it's got that creepy, spooky, yeah. eerie music, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Apparently, it was said to have caused a suicide amongst the kids. 
Yep. After uh, after hearing that. Yep. I remember hearing a lot about that actually. And in the American version, it's a little bit different music because of that. Pokemon's had actually had a lot of stuff like that. There's a uh, an episode in the original anime that they are not allowed to show on air because it was inducing seizures in little children. Oh yeah, that's but that's not a conspiracy. That really well, no, no, no. But like Pokemon's had a lot of that, like where they've had to change stuff between the original version and when they shipped it over to America. Some shit's crazy. Speaking of crazy, good segue, Devin. Thanks. That's what I'm here for. Back in uh, back when the PlayStation 2 was coming out. It is said that the former president of Iraq, Saddam Hussein, <laughs> was hoarding hundreds of PlayStation 2s. Really? Maybe that's where the PS5s are. Because <laughs> the CPU was rather powerful and could be extremely useful, maybe making some weapons of mass destruction. Wow. Really? <laughs> Because apparently there was a huge shortage in PlayStation 2s during, like, the holiday season. So, huh. just a thing to think about, you know? And, of course, there's the uh, ever-popular Madden curse. I don't know if yeah. uh, anybody wants to believe that. That shit's real. I know. That shit is real. <laughs> yeah, there have... I mean... I mean, sure, there's been some that have been on the cover that don't get hurt, but there's also been a significant amount that have. Richard Sherman... Larry yeah. Fitzgerald, Tom Brady, Ray Lewis, I mean, maybe? Nothing nothing happened to Troy Polamalu. Ray Lewis was fine. I mean, uh, those are didn't two. did Tom Brady win the Super Bowl, Super Bowl that year? I believe. I mean, there's a good chance he did, but I don't remember what exactly. I mean, it's what Patriots, they can't win. So, you know. Gronkowski was always hurt anyway. Hmm. Uh, Peyton Hillis went on to not have a job. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to. Antonio Brown. Antonio who browned. Uh, Vic. Uh, Vic went to jail. I don't think he went to jail that year. I think it was no, sick. he did get injured though. His leg got. I think his knee got hurt that year. Uh, I'm trying to think back. Well, the uh, first victim was in 1999. Garrison Hurst he broke his ankle after he was on the cover of Madden NFL 1999. He's on the cover. He's the first cover guy. Mm. Mhm. That's interesting. Barry oh, Sanders wow. was the next one, I think. Oh, huh? yeah. well, hold on. I'm looking at the cover, and it's, the cover's John Madden on 99. Is it? Oh, wait. I see another one. Is he the 49ers running back? Yes. Hmm. Then, yep, he's on one. See Madden 2000, not Barry Sanders. I don't know who this is. 25 on the Packers. What? I don't know. Oh, well, this says Barry oh, Sanders. Oh, it was Barry Sanders, but uh, he retired before uh, the season, so they put Dorsey Levins as an alternate hmm. from hmm. the Green Bay Packers. Uh, okay. There, I then I know. Elevens. Then I could probably name the rest of them. <laughs> Honestly, if I go, if I, because I know Eddie George is 2001. I Correct. know Marshall Falk is 2003. Dante Culpepper, 2002. Dante, Dante Culpepper is 02. I know Vix 04. <laughs> I know Ray Lewis is 05. I know Donovan McNabb is 06. You're doing great. I know, I know Sean Alexander is 2007. Fantastic. Uh, Vince Young is 08. You're doing great. Like shit I know Brett Favre is next. He's 2009. You're on a roll. Johnny played that one time. 10 and 11. Drew Brees is on one of those. 2011. I was going to say, I think it was 11. Because so I actually I think, got the box from that from GameStop. I think then 10 is uh, the Palomalu and Fitzgerald. 12? Would have to be Peyton Hillis. Oh man, you're doing great. Thirteen is Calvin Johnson. Oh man, you're then four. Fifteen is Richard Sherman. Correct. 
So, because I think 16 is Odell. Correct. So, 2014 is that Madden 25. So, on PS4, I know Madden 25. Or, was that 15? God damn it. And Adrian Peterson is on the cover of one of the first PS4 ones. 2014. Is that it? Yep. But he wasn't on the PS3 one. Whatever. Then... Then I know it's Gronkowski. Oh, yeah. Because, and I didn't remember Brady, but I know Antonio Brown's 19, so Brady's 18. Wow, and look then, at you. Then Pat Mahomes, and then Lamar Jackson. There's 20 and 21. Wow. I'm Amazing. Funny. I played a lot of Madden, boys. Yeah, I was going to say, do you think you like Madden, maybe? I do. I love it and I hate it at the same time. All right, right. so the the most popular... <laughs> video game conspiracy theory is that of Polybius. Polybius? Excuse me? Polybius. Is that the thing that the lady has between her legs? (laughs) No. It's (sighs) a pubis. Mm. It's a arcade machine built by supposedly the military or the government in the 80s. Yeah, okay, I do know about this. There's a couple that were installed in Portland, Oregon, and apparently whoever played those games experienced uh, some some headaches, nausea, nightmares, stuff like that. And some of the side effects could have been some suicidal thoughts. Yeah. And uh, some guys dressed in black were said to have came and frequented the arcades that these machines were put in and downloaded data stored on each of these machines, and then after they were installed, the machines disappeared. What is this called? Polybius. Polybius? Polybius. Polybius. Yeah, I remember them talking about that, because, yeah, I, I, if I remember right, there people are thinking that they were trying to see if they could use video games as a weapon. Yes. Yeah. It also appeared on an episode of The Simpsons, so you know it's got to be true. I mean, they so, yeah. Is it it is this a real thing or is it like a myth? It's a conspiracy well, theory. Actually, I think there's actually video of them being played though. Oh, okay. All right, so here's here's my last one that I have that I'm sure many people have come up with. Um there's a thing called Mixer and it went under yeah. Popular mixers on there was Ninja and Shroud. Uh-huh. And after Mixer went down, they had to go somewhere. And I guess they chose Twitch. So Twitch having to make room and money. I know where you're going with this. For both of those million dollar streamers had to do something. And I believe they banned Dr. Disrespect just so they can make enough money to get Shroud and Ninja. I 100% believe that. Yeah, I think so too. Especially because Dr. Disrespect even talked about it. There was no warning. There was no, hey, you've been doing some shady shit or, hey, your account's getting banned for blah, blah, blah. They just said, you're gone. As far as I remember, he even tried to lawyer up and they were just like, there's no point. Yeah, I'm not it's sure if he's up. telling us the whole truth, but I, I don't know. I think it's kind of fishy how that that worked out for them. He was straight up banned from yep. Twitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like he was on a stream. He looked at his phone, and then immediately it was like, "All right, guys, we're gonna get through this. I don't really know what's going on right now, but I promise you, the Champion Club will stay here. We'll be okay. We'll get through this." And then just stop the stream. Uh, yeah, okay. and then was. We'll- was Let's banned before the next stream started. Like before, and like even his so, wife came out and was like, "We have no idea what's going on. We wish we had any answers to tell you guys, but we got oh, nothing." See, okay, when he was so filming at E3 I, in the bathrooms, that's something to get banned for. But right. they didn't do it. Then. But he didn't do anything that I've seen. For yeah, having warrant to ban this time. And I can understand being. So did Twitch? pay him was was he paid by yeah he had a, he, he had a contract yeah, yeah, he, had a, he had a contract with, with okay Twitch, so yeah. 
I could see and understand why they would tear up the contract. Okay. If they wanted to pay those other guys, sure. Right. Mm-hmm. What places do. I do not understand why they would ban him from Twitch. Because, because I'm sure they could they probably still subscribe. Contract, yeah, if they ripped up his contract and then just let him stream on his own, well, he's still going to be a partner. Like, he's going to be making yeah. all the money off of it. Yeah, but he's not making money. Like, he's making money off Twitch, but he's not making money off Twitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how yeah. to say it. Like they're not paying him directly. He's not. He's not making the contract money. But right. why do I think. Understand? I he'd think still, that the he'd ban... still be making Twitch money. He'd make. He'd be making money for Twitch. Still. I think that the ban, and I, th- I feel like. I feel like they probably thought that he would make a big uproar about it on his Twitch if they just yeah. shut down his contract. Yeah, and just kind of like. And th- for this, exactly. well, to be fair, to be honest. Dr. Disrespect, if he got banned for something, then he knows what he got banned for and he didn't tell us. Right. 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 So either A, he did something really fucked up that he doesn't want anybody to know about, him and then him and Twitch kept an agreement like, hey, we're gonna ban you and just had like an NDA just, about it. Right, we're that's that's it. We're gonna drop it. We're not gonna say anything if you don't say anything. Yeah. Or they banned him without him knowing, and he's seriously like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. And then he moved over to YouTube and probably got a big ass contract on YouTube and just doesn't give a fuck because he's yeah, making I mean, this he's, as much money. He's doing, I was gonna say, he's, he's doing, doing a whole lot better thing. than what he was doing on Twitch. So, yeah. yeah. Well, because I think really he's like the only big YouTube streamer right now. You got courage. Yeah, you, you got courage. You got Valkyrie. Oh, yeah, I forgot about courage. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Now, so uh, Noah J four five six streams on Twitter or on YouTube. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So then, I guess another conspiracy to tie into that: Do you think that Ninja and Shroud went to Mixer knowing that they were going to have to be bought back out? No. Maybe. You think because, they, maybe. No, because Mixer didn't pay them up front. Okay, that's they didn't fair. Pay, all, pay their entire contract up front. Why would they? You know what I mean? Yeah, that's fair. I think yeah, Ninja. Uh, I think Ninja left Twitch because there's there's no way they had the money to pay them up front. No, if you look at Ninja, if you look at Ninja's content now compared to before he left, he's a completely different streamer now. He cusses oh, yeah. again. He is. I mean, he's still loud and obnoxious, but he like he cusses again. His shit's not family friendly really anymore. And I think that he was just like, okay, I need some. I need some to do something he different. Play and mix Fortnite, with really. something different, right? He's more into Valorant and stuff like that. So I think Ninja was looking for something different. I think Nick Merckx was just kind of like, oh, this is cool. They want me to be the face of their company. You know what I mean? Because he was still, like, he was popular, and he was, like, one of the biggest streamers, but, like, he wasn't the same name as Ninja. But Mixer being like, hey, you want to come along with Ninja? That gave him that ego boost of, hey, I'm in the same breath as Ninja now. As well as Shroud also brought uh, a goatee. Oh, Shroud, sorry. Shroud also brought his goatee to Twitch, which looks <laughs> weird. His goatee? You ever seen him with the goatee? Uh, oh, I have actually. You know, I actually watched Shroud play D and D not too long ago. Nice. Uh, well, so while we're on like the Nick Merckx and everything like that, Fortnite is getting fucking annoying. They got it. Been annoying. Well, they're getting worse because now they're like, oh well, Master Chief is joining and Kratos and all of the X Men well, and have like the Mandalorian coming out and the Mandalorian. It's out already. Why? Why? To get more people to play, of course. Uh, you don't need more people to play Fortnite. We don't need more people to play Fortnite. Fortnite 100 needs more people to play Fortnite. I guess that's fair. They need like I already. Money. I'll admit the only time that I actually played Fortnite was when they had the Thanos event. I and played I, it a lot when it first came out. I've never ever. Played but it. the fact I that they're Fortnite. just now like, okay, how many IPs can we shove into this game? It's a good money maker. So it's not like crossovers. That's what I'm. That's where I'm coming. That's what I'm hearing from this. From getting know you, Cody. You just don't like crossovers. <laughs> Apparently, you don't like I don't. covers. You don't like fucking the magic cards that have different shit. <laughs> I don't like things that have C's and V's in them, which is funny because that's also my name. All right, we are going to get really heated if we don't move on <laughs> to Caleb's topic. So take it away. So, <clears throat> I've been playing a lot of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and 
I probably have 40 plus hours in that game, if not way more, because I feel like I've been playing that game for a long time. And I feel like I have barely scratched the surface. So it kind of made me wonder with all these different games that are out anymore, do video games have too much to do in them? There's no such thing. Yeah, I don't. Not true. I don't. Because in Assassin's Creed, you know what you're getting into. If you're getting that, if you're playing Madden, you know what you're getting into that. My thing is, you if there's extra shit to do, you can choose not to do it. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. There's never, there's never too much. And what everyone always talks about is how, like, how big they want games to be. So I don't like you can pick and choose if you don't want to do side quests and RPGs. You don't have to like all that side shit you do in Valhalla. You don't have to do it. Right. Just do the story if you want. So no, I don't think there's Plus that like too much. Plus, games like Valhalla and Witcher Three, you know you're gonna put at least 100 plus hours into it at least, just playing the game. Right. So, like, like, so I played through The Witcher Three without doing any side missions. The last time I played it, remember Devin? Told you I didn't do any side shit. And it was a much less enjoyable experience than when I played through it and put all that out, the hours into it. As compared to like a game like Call of Duty, where you know you're not going to put as much time as it, an RPG, so you're just buying it just for you know. Well, that ain't true because I go for the <laughs> fucking dark matter every single every single time. But it's not overwhelming. Yeah, I mean it can be. It's a little bit different. That's not too much to do because you're focused on one goal. Right. Because you're like, hey, I'm just so, going to get on play a couple hours, you know. I understand whatever. where Caleb's coming from, though, because I do feel like I've been playing a lot of WoW lately, right? And there is so much to fucking do in that game. Yeah. And I do get overwhelmed sometimes by the amount of shit that there is to do. Well, because like, whereas in like Skyrim, that's a game that you can almost never complete because there's so much to do. There's well, so many side missions. There's so many story missions. Like, I have a question for you because I'm I'm still not too far into Valhalla yet. I think I just got to England. Um. So, are all the side stuff you're doing is that giving you levels and stuff like that? Yeah, it like helps you level up. Then I don't think it's a problem because it's just a form of experience and grinding that you can choose to do or choose to do or choose to not do. I I just don't think that there's ever too much to do in a game because if there was if that stuff wasn't there, I feel like we'd be bitching about there being too little to do with it. You know what I mean? Right. Because then it becomes so, an empty, empty big world. I like Valhalla. There I think I'm up to five different locations you can visit. <laughs> oh damn. Um all which help progress the story. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, I love a big game. I'm not saying that having too much to do is bad. Right. But sometimes it just makes the game seem uncompletable. Because you can. there's just so much to do. Like, go do all the side missions. Go do all these missions. Go do all these things. Um, I feel like it just gets a little overwhelming sometimes to where... If you try to complete all those games, you get burnt out to where you don't complete the game. So I was just trying to see if there was a happy balance between too much to do and not enough. Because and obviously, if there's not enough to do, then people are going to bitch that the game was short. There wasn't anything to do. But now if the game's too long, there's too many side missions. The game's too long. I can't ever compl- get 100% completion because there's just way too much stuff to do. And I, I mean, obviously, it depends on what type of person you are. Too, like, I watch uh, the YouTuber Gerard the Completionist, which his entire channel is just one hundred percenting like every single game, and yeah. he's never really had a problem with it. He's been perfectly fine. There's a couple of games that he hated by the end of it. Tony Hawk was actually one of them, um, but the one that he has had the most trouble with is Persona Five, and he oh, actually. Just- didn't finish so it. fucking big dude right because there are i think he said he put almost like 600 hours of just straight grinding into it and he still wasn't even done like the fact that you have to go through with all of these characters and do all this stuff and like Devin and them were saying yes you don't have to do that you can enjoy the game without doing that but 
if you're someone like me that I want to explore everything that I can, I want to try and get every ending that I can of every game. I want to like do all the side quests and I like, I don't want to miss out on anything. People worked hard to put it in the game. I want to see it. But that's again, that's a youth. Right. And that's, it's just how I am. I mean, there's I think... plenty of people that, you know, play call of duty, stick with one gun and never change anything about their class. So I've been, I've been, I feel like because of streaming and things like that, I've been very, I need to finish this game so I can move on to the next game. You know what I mean? Okay. And I need to do this so I can do that. Um, but there are games where it's not about finishing it for me. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I start, it started, I didn't plan on streaming that. I streamed it that like two times. And after that, I was like, okay, I'm done because I don't want to try to rush through this game. You know what I mean? That's why Cyberpunk, I'm not streaming it. I'm going to make it a YouTube series, and I'm going to do every fucking thing I can in that game, as long as it's enjoyable. For, for So for me, games that are super big, that like have a bunch of shit to them, as long as everything that they have to offer is enjoyable, and I'm not forced to do shit that isn't enjoyable, then I don't think there's ever too much stuff in a game, for me personally. But but also, I'm, a, I'm, a, like, I'm not the target audience of everybody. You know what I mean? For Right. Yeah. Caleb, somebody who works 50 hours, or Devin who works 50 hours, or Snow who works 50 hours, or Cody who works 50 hours a week, you guys might feel opposite because you guys have a, like, a limited amount of time to play games. Yeah. So I, I get where it's coming from on both sides. Because like yeah. sometimes like big games like Valhalla, it's like, okay, I can dive in and sink a couple hours in not really have to worry about anything and it's something to kind of enjoy after like you said working a long week but then the, sometimes it's just like i wish i was done with this game so i can move on to something else because if you have if you're playing too many games at once then you get lost and forget what's going on in the other things so i was like all right cool i'm going to beat valhalla before i move on to the Witcher 3. Dude, there's so much to do in Valhalla. I had to start The Witcher 3 or I was never going to play The Witcher 3. <laughs> yeah. And there's so much in Witcher 3 that... <laughs> and it's just like, dude, I have so much to do in these games that they're going to take up all my time right now. And so I think probably the best series that I've played that has balanced it like to me the best where I can feel like I'm doing everything. But I'm still, about to say yeah. Hades. No, no, no. Uh, the Arkham Knight games, or the Arkham series. Like, the the side missions and stuff were still close enough to the main part of the story that you were progressing both kind of at the same time. So and like, behind that. I don't feel like, I feel like those games aren't super like big, though, either. You know what I mean? You don't think so? No, not, especially not the older ones. The first, I mean, maybe Arkham Knight, but like, Arkham City, no. I think a completionist can beat that game in 40 hours maybe and i don't know maybe that's look it up. what i look for then is just kind of like stuff that's going to take a little bit but is not also going to take me three months to complete with you know the few hours i get each day to play or whatever whereas you know stuff like H hades and binding of isaac i love them but then i also get to points where i'm like all right well, i don't know like how much more of this i want to try and grind through and try and do and because I mean, yeah. So, uh, games. sorry for completionist mm -hmm. for Arkham City, it's forty-four hours. Okay, and that's not too bad. Like, no, I think it's not. Oops, I don't think every game needs like a Monster Hunter world where you're going to be spinning a you lot. You can't. It's impossible. It's impossible. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, um, Arkham Asylum is twenty-five hours. That was the first one. Yep. Okay. Night is night. I'm gonna bet is sixty two. You think it just goes up by twenty every time? Uh, the medium's forty five. So. Yeah. Okay. Just can't make everybody happy. That's that's the whole point. <laughs> nah, I definitely... no. I think I think that the I think that the the compromise to that to that topic is that there's something for everybody to be happy. Yep. And I I do think that's something that maybe games like wow or monster hunter world are a little bit harder because there really is just you know 
so much to do that you're not ever going to finish everything. Well, the reason it's not possible is because they keep adding stuff to it. Like, WoW is continuously updated. Like, you will never not have something that you can do on WoW. Right. So, you know, the people that just want a never-ending game have that to go and do and play. The people that want something along the lines of an Arkham Asylum, you go finish it in a weekend and be done with it. Or there's middle ground stuff that I would say like the Call of Duties where there's technically a lot to do, but there's not anything you have to do. So the consensus is we're all undecided. (laughs) I think it just depends on the person. Uh, If you are a completionist, there are definitely a lot of games out there that you are not going to want to ever play. Final Fantasy. No, you can you can grind through Final Fantasy pretty nice. I don't ever want to grind through Final Fantasy. Um, I will <laughs> say probably like Final Fantasy X is going to be a bit harder. I don't want to play Final. Any, Fan- he's not going to play Final Fantasy. I'll play Final Fantasy X at some point again. I'm sure. Right? Uh, he'll never finish it. You're gonna, are... Next time you play, you're going to be starting over. <laughs> but there are bosses on that with hit points almost in the millions. So you know it takes. Yeah, some but that's. Yeah, but it's all scaled. Like it's not. Eh, kind of. Hit, hit points are, are and like damage is relative to the game. You say scaled, but I've also seen people get to that point and still get one shot, like TKO entire party dead. I mean, I'm not. Are we talking about, about the dark summons? Uh, now I'm, the I'm talking in general. Well, yeah. The main one I'm thinking on ten is the. You're on some like airship or something, and there's some just. I junk. fucking hate that level. <laughs> the yeah. Game, the dragon, yeah. Yeah, that thing takes forever. Yeah, it did. Uh, Unaleska takes way longer than that. Yeah, see, fuck that. Oh, you finally ground through that fight. Here, here's an even longer one. I was 45 minutes into the battle with Unaleska on her third form. And she one shot my entire team <laughs> with some move. And it was like, hey, cool. You get to do all of that from the very beginning. And I turned the fucking thing off and yep. never played it again. Yeah, because yeah, there's, there's, there's no checkpoints and bosses. You just, you have to start over. I've been there. I Cody, said, no way, Kimosabi. Cody, I was watching uh, Awesome For Reals, that yeah. streamer. I watched him play through Final Fantasy VI. Okay. I watched him spend four hours on one boss fight, dying exactly. incessantly. That's not okay. That's hilarious. And it was like it was ma- making me mad that it was <laughs> doing the shit out of him. Right. Yeah. I don't. Even, I don't think I would play that long. Like when I I started playing Lords of the Fallen, and I got to like the fourth boss, <laughs> and it it just seemed impossible, and I just quit playing. <laughs> like. I didn't die 3,000 times. I died like, I don't know, 10, and I just put it down. And it's funny because... I die in a game to not like want to want to play it ever again. Like, Morrowind, I'm just never going to play that fucking game again. That's really? Boring. Hey, well, that's just boring as fuck. Oh, I'm man. I, man, I feel the same way, at least like now. Maybe when it came yeah. out, I'd be like, this is fun, but... Yeah. It's it just not fun. To the controls watch. are... Yeah. Like, after uh, playing Skyrim yeah. and Oblivion, the controls are really wonky. Like that's how did that's you, how I feel about the first Witcher. Like mm-hmm. so hard to play. Yep. Did you even try lock picking? Fuck no. I got to no. I got finished the first quest and then I switched over to Skater XL because I know how to play that game. Fair. Yeah, and like that's definitely one of those things is so much has changed and gotten better over the years, especially with something like Elder Scrolls. I mean, even think of like the Zelda games. Some of the controls on the older Zelda games are trash. Yeah. And then, you know, but they're, they were a product of their society and a product of what they had to work with. So, yep. yeah, I mean, they were good. For when time, when like, Morrowind came out, there was no universal like how to do things. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that Morrowind was the first one that actually got a console release. Yeah, I'm sure. It's the first time I remember seeing it for sure. Anyway. What did so, it come out for? PS2? Xbox, Xbox. original. So, I mean, trying to figure out something that will work on PC mm-hmm. like it has, but then also work with controls. I mean, that shit looked like a Nintendo 64 game, so. It really did. <laughs> nah, graphic, the shaders were a little bit nicer. <laughs> were they? A little, bit. a little bit. 
had a little bit better than graphics in okay. fucking Zelda. Not a ton, it was, it, it was like a 68 bit game. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there we go. All right. So, overall, big win for video games. Love yeah, video games. Always. Yeah. But, you know, uh, maybe I am more coming from the indie side of that kind of stuff because in Binding of Isaac and Hades, you are going to be playing a lot of the same game to finish everything. You know, I started playing God Eater. That's like good month. It's a lot like Monster Hunter, but like I want to play it much less than I want to play Monster <laughs> Hunter. <laughs> and you don't even want yeah. to play Monster Hunter again. I, I do want to play Monster Hunter, but I want to wait for the new one. Ah, uh, yeah, Rise is gonna be fun. I, I want, I want to be like fresh again. But God, I Eater, about playing it. God Eater doesn't have the like history that uh, Monster Hunter has, though, right? Mm, no, like there's only a couple like... God Eater. Three yeah. of them. Three, okay. Yeah. Whereas Monster Hunter is like what? And I mean, to be fair, I haven't played the first two. I just I bought three. And I mean, I like, also, right Cody, the first Monster Hunter to come out on uh, in home consoles world. So, well, yeah, but I mean, the rest are more handhelds. Yeah. Three DS had a few of them though. Right, yeah, but three DS is such a niche market for if you think about it. Man, I played this shit. I think it was four. Not generations. I didn't get into generations too much, and I think it was more because I didn't really have people to play with, so it kind of got boring. But four, like oh, I would yeah. take my 3ds to work, and we would like in on breaks and shit would play it. <laughs> yeah, I had a, my boss when I first started at Kroger played a shitload of Monster Hunter Generations, like nonstop. Yeah, it looked really cool, and I wanted to get into it. I just didn't have anybody to play with, so I was like, well, I'm just yeah, not even worried about that. That's why I stopped playing Monster Hunter World. At yep. First. But then it became very fun. So, I mean, it's kind of the same with Destiny, too. Like, I don't play that shit anymore because no one else plays. I played Destiny. Literally I bought, played it. I bought Destiny to play it with my friends, and nobody ever wanted to play it with me. I literally played it last week. Did you? So I played it, yeah. I played it with Snow and Caleb one time. I think I was there too. Snow, snow got me a, a victory. I literally played <laughs> with you before. Yeah, I, I was getting to you, and I played with you and another guy, and one time, and Cody. That was it. I was gonna one say time, I know I played with him at one point. Cody definitely played with us. No, maybe. and then me, and then me, Snow, and the fucking mummy tried to tried to Ooh. fucking do Logan. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's who I played. With. Oh, tried man. to fucking me, Snow, and Logan tried to do a nightfall strike. You remember the snow? I and do. Logan died 500 times. Yes. <laughs> and so we kicked him out and got my brother Alex to play with us. Yeah. And oh. we beat it first try. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Alex is... You have Alex and Snow. They're both, like... Professional video dudes. gamers. That statement is untrue. You're He's not true. the dude? No. I'm just a normal no, guy. I have not seen a single thing that you have actually put effort into that you're not good at. Me neither. I have not seen a single thing that Snow's not good at. Exactly. Drawing, but you could draw if you tried. Like, I bet you could have and tried. I used to draw all the time, and then I, I bet you were good as fuck at it, weren't you? And then I moved here. <laughs> I mean, you, fair. You were good too, weren't you? You know, uh, I was all right. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, I was, Snow can sing too. I was drawing some manga and some Pokemon back in the I day. I bet Snow can sing. Snow can sing. I can't. I ain't never heard it, but I can't sing. I, 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 he can. I've heard it. I have the inability to sing. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. That's what's no. All I know, Caleb Allen. All I yeah. know is one time, <laughs> Caleb doesn't listen to me. On the way back home from Allentown, <laughs> me, me and Devin, me and Devin were sleeping, and Snow <laughs> drove the entire way home by himself. Yeah, <laughs> listening to fucking Avenged Sevenfold. Didn't say a word. Yeah, for fucking eight hours. He listened to Avenged Sevenfold on like the lowest volume possible. <laughs> Yeah, he didn't want to wake anybody up. He's a fucking good brother. No, and then I'm like, what, no, that's what he listens to it on. Because <laughs> Chango was like, turn it up. He said, I don't, I don't remember what he said, but it was something fucking funny. Like I'm not a. I think at one point, or some shit. in my like, in my slumber, that high. I think at one point in my slumber, we started listening to fucking Lord or some shit like that or Iggy Azalea. Hey, Lord. Hey, yeah, I Iggy Azalea. Iggy. Well, you, it was, you weren't there was, for the 18 hour trip. To Florida or New Orleans? I wasn't. Either. Wasn't invited. Same. Caleb was invited, but he decided he didn't want to go. Remember on the way, listen, snow drove damn near the whole way. But <laughs> on the way, on the way back, 
Tyron slept for like 27 hours. <laughs> that was an 18 hour trip. He, yeah. You do the <laughs> math. Snow's the drivest. And he, he took like four poor people with him. So I like to drive. I drove I to and from know. Wisconsin in one day. And then Devin slept the entire way back. Because Goldberg made him physically ill. <laughs> Goldberg did literally <laughs> make me physically ill. I, was I remember, sick. and I remember. so I listened to slip, or I listened to Fallout, the Fallout, same Fallout by album, and I repeat like ten times. <laughs> I listened to uh, House of Golden Bones Part Two on the way to Caleb's house with Jacob, nonstop. Like I, I don't, can't we listen to it. <laughs> I don't know, so many times through. <laughs> I remember having to call Jeannie and talk to her while I was driving because I was making one of the Indiana Pittsburgh Indiana trips. Is and, this the time you stole her car? Uh, no, that was Kentucky. Um, but no, no. you stole a car like next to your house. <laughs> no. Yeah, we got pulled up. You motherfucker! We got pulled over because you were trying to lose the cops in the neighborhood. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's when Stacy yeah. went up and asked the cops what they were doing. Yeah, fucking Cody. Cody's like, if I make like four turns, they can't follow me anymore. They're not supposed to. So he just fucking kept turn like, yeah. turned around and turned around and turned around. What fucking cop wouldn't be like? What the fuck is this guy doing? Well, you're not supposed to. And then it was cold outside. I'm wearing a fucking t-shirt and basketball yeah. shorts. Yeah, with and seven people in a car and two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I didn't have an ID or anything. The lady cops trying to be super fucking cool in front of her cop buddies. Yep. I do remember the time that Cody was driving and we were all having fun and he slams yeah. on the brake in the middle of the road and he exercises his neck and <laughs> tells us to shut the fuck up as loud what? as possible. Why would so, you do that, Cody? I was trying to drive and then like all of a sudden I remember. No, he got a phone call from Jeannie Oh, that's and it. We're all singing. And yeah, I was on the phone, and all of you were being loud as we were fuck. singing. And then you got the phone call. So, and then it's kind of rude. He, he's. I, I remember this story very vividly. So here we go. So <laughs> it's okay. like eleven o'clock at night. Fucking Phil Collins comes on. <laughs> we're all singing. Drum solo is about to happen. Cody gets a phone call. I don't remember who was in the front seat. They crank it up. It's just like, do, 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 do. I remember. And all of us in the car scream it loud as fuck. Cody decides to <laughs> slam on the brakes hard <laughs> as fuck. Dead stop in the middle of the street. Yep. Turns around, screams, shut the fuck up. We all go silent. Then we all start busting out laughing. So then after we get out of the car, Cody was like, yeah, my mom called me and told me we were losing the house and you guys were screaming. Yeah. And we said, nobody is losing their house at midnight, you fucking liar. <laughs> and then we went about our day. Then he lost the house, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, Jake. no, Jeannie and my mom did call, though. But still, if you're on a phone call, why the fuck would you scream as loud as possible? We were have singing before the phone call. year old dudes? Have you never hung out with friends and they're, hey, dude, pass the bong. Like, it, it happens all the fucking time. Yeah. Touch Guys, don't wiener. talk. My girlfriend's calling me. Oh, uh, yeah? Uh, <laughs> right. Like, it's what friends do. It's yeah. literally what friends do. Uh, yeah, well, Cody's I'm 30 out. fucking years old and that shit still happens. <laughs> yeah. And it's still well. funny as fuck when you answer the phone. <laughs> Nephew calls me while I'm at work, and my boss just comes around the corner and goes, Ah, oh, ah, oh, yeah, fuck <laughs> me. Like, okay. If I must, I guess. Hey, yeah. hey, Jacob. Yo. Remember, remember at ICW when me and you were singing fucking Shot Through the Heart at the top of our lungs? And Elliot told us to stop having fun? <laughs> yeah, he told us to stop having fun or get out of his barn. Yep. He ultimately said stop having fun. Yeah, he also yeah, followed he through because we didn't stop having fun. Yeah, we kept having fun. He said, all right, well, I'm selling it now. And then gave it away. Hey, got a Walmart for singing Living on a Prayer when <laughs> when Rock Band was a thing. They had a demo set up and our friends were playing and I was just in the background screaming Living on a Prayer. Caleb, lady comes up to me and goes, uh, 
this is not a party house. Shut up or get out. And I said, my bad. <laughs> remember remember when we went to Meyer at like 3 a.m. and used all their art supplies to make a sign that said <laughs> Canada? Took pictures with the people. Yeah. Just opened shit up and just used it. They let us too, which was stupid. We paid 30 cents for a giant poster that said Canada and drained eight packs of markers. That's me awesome. and Devin. Literally. Me and Devin were gonna when we went to Wisconsin for that pay per view, we were gonna go to Walmart. But neither of us have been to a big city before, so we didn't know Walmart wasn't just in Wisconsin, like uh uh Milwaukee, and we didn't know where to find an actual Walmart there or CVS or anything. So we just didn't bring signs. Nice. Did uh, you say that was my first time in a big city? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You've never left the cornfields of Anderson. <laughs> Correct. You're right. I didn't live in Chicago and go to Florida. And... But uh, so anyway, in my original story from this that stemmed all of this, uh, I was making one of the Indiana Pittsburgh trips and Tony was supposed to be my wingman and keep me awake the whole time. And I think have? on our way back to Indiana, he's like, hey, uh, can you drop me off? I'm kind of tired. So I had to make a detour, drop him off, and then drive all the way to Indiana and back home by myself with nobody else on the car. Why did you just stay at somebody's house? Because I was 18 and stupid. Actually, I think I had to go to work. You agreed to pick yeah. up children. I mean. Yeah, you did agree to pick up children. But I thought I had a wingman, so I had to call Jeannie the whole time and just be like, hey, you have to keep me awake because I'm about if to not, pass I'm away. gonna pass away. Yeah. <laughs> and she did. She was like, All right, well, you know. I didn't have anybody what, what to talk, talk about. I didn't have anybody to keep me awake except for Fallout Boy. <laughs> you had I the mean, fucking devil's dick water falling I down did have crack. Devil, devil's dick water. I mean, Pete Wentz would keep me awake. Sucking it down my fucking butthole. <laughs> So overall, it's coffee, very bad coffee, guys. Yes, how, that's how big we drink coffee. I miss Fallout Boy. This was a decent episode. Miss guys. Fallout Boy, they still make music. Cody, what the fuck is who said that? Was it Cody? It was Cody. Oh, Why wouldn't it be Cody? What the fuck <laughs> <is wrong with laughs> Cody, they yeah. literally still make music. You also have uh, Spotify. Had an CD in a couple years. Okay, they still tour and make music. Oh, do they tour? In yes. COVID? Nobody's oh touring. <laughs> Not during COVID. You motherfucker. I'm, <laughs> I'm leaving. You have the fucking brain of sack boy. <laughs> uh, probably. <laughs> but you know what? I entertain people, and that's what I'm here for. Oh, you? You do. I don't, you do. Enter- entertain may be the word, but also it may not be. <laughs> I, I make you feel things. You do make us feel something. Anger, mostly, but yeah. All right. All right, yeah. All right. Sausage. so uh, if you're, if you're, if you're listening to us on Spotify, please follow us. If you're not listening to us on Spotify, just go over to Spotify and follow us. Also, follow us on Twitter at TopTurta, and uh, you can follow me, subscribe to me, whatever. Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, all at the beast now. I'm Devin. Don't I? I do not give a shit if you follow me. Just follow the top tier to stuff. Follow us on Spotify. <laughs> follow my friends on Twitch at the B Snow at the Friendly Plays at Ginger Beard Man Gamer. Even though you know <laughs> they call me Ass Pack because I pack a lot of ass. <laughs> yeah, it was already said, but yeah, Ginger Beard Man Gamer on Twitch. T Ginger Beard Man on Twitter. I'm Friendly Gamer. Follow me on Twitch. <laughs> Friendly Gamer X. Friendly Gamer. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can tell who supports his friends. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to create a Twitch account. He said, oh, oh, okay. I am Friendly Gamer. <laughs> uh, uh, follow Caleb was... at, on Twitter at Caleb SXE44. Yeah, something like that. And I've been Friendly, and you can follow me at Friendly Plays. X on Twitch, Friendly Plays on Twitter, Friendly Plays on YouTube, Friendly Plays X on TikTok, Friendly Plays on Instagram. Hail Biden. Hail Biden. Till next se- till next time. Bye. Bye. No one Bye. Bye for sleeping in. Bye. 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 B